YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back into some more Super Auto Pets. We're gonna go ahead and jump into it and play. There's a big update coming through. This is gonna be the first video on the new update where we now have 10 lives. We are on the free to play build, so we're gonna see how it goes here. We're gonna buy this, buy this. What does this do? Give the leftmost friend plus one attack. So it would be buffing itself. So what if we move that and that for now? Why not? Oh my gosh, we're gonna freeze these for sure. All right, let's go ahead and and turn and move on and pick our name here. Oh my gosh, uh, the comedic cakes. I like the alliteration there, so we're gonna go ahead and roll that. Let's look for an opponent and see what we can do here. Been a while since I played some Super Auto Pets, so we're gonna see how this goes here. The fishy bikers. I think we win these. Yep, that's a win. All right, we'll take an early win every day of the week here. Awesome, you'll love to see it. Uh, we are going to buy some more fish. So that way, next turn, we will have a T3. I mean, the bird is doing work, right? And right now it's going to buff that fish, which is fine. So the bird could go anywhere in the order, actually, like that. Probably good. Uh, let's go ahead and buy another bluebird. It's a 3-2, which is formidable at this point, though. 2 HP is not a lot. We'll go ahead and... Roll it on out here. A 3-3 fish is okay. It's going to get better as we combine them here next turn. Oh, somebody has the same plan, huh? A 3-4. We might lose these. Their fish are just better. Yep. Unfortunate. The mosquito luck, I think, is what got us there. 10 lives, though. This is going to be interesting. Tier 2 animals in a lock. Now lose 2 lives per loss. Oh... Very, very interesting. So I wonder if I unlock a tier 3 animal early, if I now lose 3 lives. Oop, could not connect to server. Interesting. We do not. That's fine. Um, we will put the bird there. That's good. We'll pick up an early puffer fish. Why not? And an early swan is good by me. Let's roll again. Another swan, huh? I mean, this bluebird is only buffing per one. It's a 4-3 pig. We could buff the pig. Though I don't think it's long for this world. I think we're going to sell the pig next turn, potentially. Maybe we want an economy boost here? So let's go ahead and sell the bluebird. We'll pick up another swan. That way we can combine them next turn. We got one gold. Let's freeze the pig for now. We'll roll once. Makes me feel bad that we just got rid of that bluebird, but we can freeze the ant in the pill and we might pick that up next turn. That's, I mean, that's, I mean, that's a little too late, I think, actually. For a 2-1 for four gold. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and end turn and move on here. Let's see how this goes. A 4-7 rat. Okay, we draw. That's not bad. Dirty rats, okay. Okay, Battle of the Blowfish. That's a 9-10 beetle. Oh my goodness. We do not win these. The Misty Housewives. Two lives down. Interesting. Okay, so we do have two swans. Let's go ahead and sell this pig for now. Bat's probably pretty good. We'll put the bat up there for now. We might actually, because I purchased it, we might actually be on the pay-to-win build, now that I think about it. Because I don't remember bats on free-to-play, so that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and combine swans, and we'll buy another bat. And we'll roll... man. Let's unfreeze this pig for now. I mean, let's buff this puffer fish... so it can tank some. And hopefully our bat luck pays out here. We'll see how it goes. The comedic cakes versus the suspicious fishes. Yo, I like the alliteration. The bat luck is awful. Not on our side at all. That's okay. Dang. That's another two live lost. Could not connect to the server. I do believe they are having some issues here. So we're on five lives here. Turtle is going to be great. Garlic armor is actually good uh, early game here. So we are going to garlic armor that. Uh, man, we'll freeze the turtle for now. We'll freeze this garlic armor for now. We'll roll again. Two turtles? Potentially. We'll combine a bat for now. 
let's move the bat to the back, the swan behind it, we'll put a turtle in there. Roll one more time. Ooh, hatching chick is good. Hatching chick is phenomenal. Um... I think we say so long, thanks for all the fish. And we buy the hatching chick. We got two rolls, we'll freeze this turtle, that's a level two turtle. Which is fine. Gives plus one health. Health is underrated? But I don't think the tropical fish is actually that great here. A puppy, it's a little late for a puppy, but we'll see what we can do here. And the turn. That's a 10-12 puffer fish with garlic armor. That's okay. We'll see what happens here. See what our bat does on the tropical fish. That's, oh, the snipe on the tropical fish feels nice. We trade here, that's okay. We lose this, but we get melon armor. That's a win, hey, a nice comeback win. Feels good. Ta-da. Again, this new, oh my gosh. Um, a lot of things to consider here. Man, oh man. Hmm, I think the swan has done its due diligence here. I think we are gonna go puppy. Might as well get it up. We need two. So I could spend one and re-roll one. We have some lives to play with here. So let's spend one, because we need two to make the puppy work. So we re-roll for one coin. Keeping that turtle frozen. We don't need that turtle. We'll keep the garlic armor frozen for now. And actually we won't because we like picking up a pill would be pretty good. Especially if we get the turtle to level 2, or even keeping it and running a like high level turtle and amoeba build. Not sure how that's going to go. Let's end the turn. The puppy is now scaling. It might be a little too late for it, but we're going to play it out and see how it goes here. Like I said, we have some leeway here. Especially with our uh, puffer fish. Doing its work as best it can. Sniping that uh, spider early is good. You'd love to see it. Oh, the ram difference is not going to play out as much as I thought it would. This is a win. All right. Getting a little lucky here. Oh, okay. So let's go for a tier two turtle. Why not? There's our amoeba that we want. So maybe we drop the bat and run the amoeba up front instead. Well, it's going to replace the garlic armor on pufferfish. Unfortunately, I mean we could run melon armor, but melon armor is not going to help that puffer fish all that much. Uh, we'll freeze the amoeba for now. That might be a long-term goal. Oh, uh, bison's not exactly what we're looking for here. Uh, I'm not too sure what we're looking for. Man, I mean, let's buy this for now. That leaves us at two, and that way our puffer fish is getting a little bit of scaling here, and our puppy's getting some scaling here. It's a 12-14. That's not going to last long. We're getting up there in turn order here, so I think we might be potentially outplayed here. But I'm not sure. This might actually be a win, depending on our puffer fish snipes. Puffer fish difference? Oh, yeah, okay. We're slowly whittling down that dog, and you love to see that. That's gonna take out our puffer fish and our hatching chick, but that's okay. Our turtle is gonna die, but give melon armor to the puppy, and that's a win. All right, not too bad. All right. We are making progress. A caterpillar, huh? We're not really, I mean, the puppy is scaling, but that's our only thing that's scaling here. Let's lose the amoeba. We can lose that for now. I'm not super stoked about it. I mean, we could pill the turtle and pick up a different... Let's do that. Let's pill the turtle. We can run a deer up front for now, or do we want to run a skunk? Let's run a skunk, and let's buff the pufferfish again, I guess? End turn, that's an 8-8 with melon armor, a 14-16 with garlic armor. I mean, the hatching chicks... Probably not long for the world. But it's doing work right now. That, oh, that's fantastic. The skunk and peak or the skunk and bat on the peacock is amazing. It's exactly what you want to see there. Yeah, that's a win. Okay. Uh, I guess don't knock it if it's winning for you. So, I mean, it is what it is, but that's five wins, four wins. 
Five wins. Okay. Ooh, a scorpion is actually pretty strong here. Pretty nutty. Oh man, oh man. Let's go ahead and freeze the scorpion. Let's roll once. Hatching chick to level two might not be bad. That's permanent scaling. A mammoth is okay, but not great. A bat level up is going to be great. Let's freeze the bat for now. And the scorpion, like I said, we have some lives to play with, so we might pivot here. But like now it gives permanent scaling to the puffer fish, which is good. We'll roll once because we can. I don't think I like anything there, so let's go ahead and end the turn. The puppy scales, the puffer fish scales. I mean, we can move the hatching chick behind the puppy if we want the puppy to scale faster. But this 11-13 puffer fish is like... Mm, it might be outclassed here, actually. Or not, because of the bat luck. You love to see that. Oh man, oh man. That is another win. That puts us at six. Doing pretty good for a new update and a new pack that I haven't played before. I mean, do we want to scale the puffer fish? Let's scale the puffer. Or, okay, let's start here with the bat. What's the bat give us? A sauropod. Buy food, gain one. That's not what we're looking for. That's kind of like a low tier, uh, tier six animal, if I had to guess. Uh, so let's go ahead and puffer fish up. We can roll twice. So let's go ahead and do that then. There's another puffer fish that is going to be helpful. Or blowfish, I guess. And then we can roll one more time for puppy scaling. And we'll freeze this. Okay. I'm not sure where I want to slot in the scorpion or if I want to keep the skunk right now. Because the skunk's doing pretty good work for us. The lowering of that HP is pretty phenomenal depending on what it hits. Oh, that's pretty good for me, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think we win this, though. Yeah, that's tough. That is tough squad, tough squad. We're gonna lose two more lives here, but we're at six wins. We have one more loss in us, I guess. An eagle's okay, but not great. I understand the logic behind pilling an eagle. I mean, we could try a dragon. It's buy, sell meta, but... It kind of goes counterintuitive to our puppy that we're working with here. I mean... We don't have any tier 1s right now to buy, so that's where we're going to keep that in the shop for now. We're just going to roll past it. I don't think we are long for this world here. We can roll twice. A T-Rex might be where we're at, actually. If we survive... It might be worth it to scale into a T-Rex. T-Rex puppy synergy works well. We'll drop the skunk, throw a T-Rex in there. I mean, we could do that now, but nothing would scale. So that's probably best for next turn. Yeah. Okay, we'll roll one more time, maybe. Game. Server issues. There's another skunk. That's okay. A steak might be good to put on the chick. Lots of different avenues we can take here as we move forward. A 14-14 puppy, a 19-21 blowfish. It's now a level 2 blowfish, which is nice. So let's see here. I think we... Oh, that's a beefy scorpion. Oh my goodness. Wow. But we're going to trade with a scorpion, which is good. Oh, we lo lost a death touch. I mean, that's pretty good. A melon armor on the butterfly is a little rough. If I do say so myself, that's another loss. Unfortunate that we were very, very close there. Game over, and there's our squad, I guess. Not bad. I like this new ending screen. The 10 lives thing's a little interesting. We now have 855 points. Cool, let's go ahead and run it back. We'll play it again here. Let's see how it goes. I mean, fish, ant is good. We'll freeze the cricket for now. We'll roll once, get another fish in there. That's fantastic. I don't know how confident I am in food meta, so actually we will unfreeze the cricket for now, we'll end turn. And let's be... I mean... The bumbling sardines? The dense rangers? I'm not entirely sure. Let's go ahead and be the bumbling sardines for now. It's an okay name. Let's see how we do here. Mitigate the early game bat difference, maybe? Our mosquito difference, but I think we win these. Nice. I'll take a win. An early win is nice. 
All right. Um, we'll buy a mosquito for now. Let's go ahead and roll. We can buy another fish. We'll combine it and we'll buy an ant. So wait, next turn we combine our fish. We got an upgrade. We have ants if we get a pill. I think we're in a decent spot here. I have to shift my mindset from free to play. Here, oh, okay, the similar build, but I'm I'm Yuba better or same. Okay, I hate to see that, but I think we'll be okay here. At least a draw. Oh, the cricket difference, zombie cricket. They've renamed it. It's no longer a different cricket. It's a zombie cricket. Okay, there you go. Tier two animals have unlocked. You now lose two lives per loss. All right, so let's go ahead and combine here. That's good. A turtle early can make a difference, I guess. We can pick up another mosquito. Freeze the turtle. Let's roll. Eats shop food, gives friends plus one attack until end of battle. Not great. I mean, let's go ahead and kill this ant. Okay, six, six fish is good. Uh, let's roll. We can roll twice. Another pill will freeze that for the other ant. And we'll roll one more time here and we'll just pick up this turtle. For now, let's go ahead and end the turn. All right, spooky forest background, hate to see it. But let's go ahead and see how this shakes out here. Oh, we got the shrimp. I'm not sure if that's gonna make a difference or not. Our turtle should be okay here. This should be a win. Oh yeah, easy win. Ta-da! Two wins. One loss. I can deal with that. Dog scaling? Do we want to do a buy me, sell me build and do dog scaling? We could look to do that. We could look to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and combine here. Let's buy the dog. Let's pill the ant and hope it gets the dog. I hit the turtle, but that's okay. Uh, so beaver is fine for buy, sell. Uh, sell. We can roll once, so let's freeze the dromedary and roll. And let's go ahead, that's actually going to buff the dog to run this for one turn, so let's go ahead and do that. Cool, the dog's getting attacked, but we wanna see it get health. We don't need to freeze the dromedary anymore. End turn, there we go. Running the turtle up front is not too scary for us right now. It's a four five turtle, which is pretty good. Oh my gosh, that is a ladybug built team. Good lord, sir. I think we lose these ones. That is not a win by any stretch of the imagination. The shy mouths. Wow. You now lose three lives per loss. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell. And we'll buy. And we'll combine, and we'll buy, and we'll sell. That's okay. And then we will um, roll. Oh yeah, that's that's good. Uh, so let's go ahead and buy and sell. Oh yeah, and then we'll buy the hedgehog, and we'll. Run the dog up in front of the fish. For now, hedgehog in the back. So hopefully it might make a difference. You never know. And let's go ahead and send it. We're now losing three lives per turn. Interesting. I don't know if that happened in the last match that we were losing three lives per turn. It could have been. Oh. Okay. Everything gets smacked a bit there. That's fine, I guess. That's nice melon armor play on the dog here. I don't... Oh, that grants us the win. Okay, cool. I'll take the win. That's three wins. Hatching chicks pretty good. Tur Ooh, early turn. So let's go ahead and sell the hedgehog. And we'll buy the dog. That dog gets buff. And we'll move the dog over. A deer's okay. So maybe we sell the mosquito now. Sell the mosquito. And we, uh... Let's go ahead and buy the hatching chick. Uh, we'll also buy the bluebird. Buff the dog again. Sell the bluebird. 
and then buy uh, we can roll once so let's go ahead and uh, freeze a deer roll once we'll freeze the garlic armor we will freeze the snail in case we suffer a loss and we will buy the deer now what are we gonna buy sell probably the deer and we'll garlic armor something the fish maybe because it's not getting turtle garlic armor right now let's go ahead and send it that's a 22 15 dog with melon armor so that's not bad hopefully our deer makes a difference here it's actually gonna wipe the melon armor on the bird which is okay that's a rough bird but we suffer through just fine and actually that is a win not bad a golden poop win nonetheless we beat a golden poop the flooded bikers Sorry, Underwater Squid, you're going to have to bring the A-game next turn. All right, so we don't need the snail. A rooster's okay if we can get rooster scaling. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, sell. Let's unfreeze this. Let's sell the deer. because We know we're getting rid of the deer. There it is. Let's go ahead and potentially keep the garlic armor. Let's unfreeze the garlic armor. We can roll back into it. It might be worth it to run the rooster behind the hatching chick as end turn here. So we'll freeze the rooster for now. Let's go ahead and buy. Buff the dog. Sell. Let's roll once and see if we get anything that has buy sell upside. Not really. So, I mean, we can go ahead and buy. That puts us on six. Let's sell. We can roll down to five, which is fine. The owl. Ooh, the dog. Level two dog's fine. So let's go ahead and buy the owl, because it has an upside on sell. The dog's getting a little, a little crazy there. Sell. Oh, you love to see that. And we'll run a rooster in front of the hatching chick for now. We'll see how that works. We can freeze this... No, well, we'll freeze the dog and see if we can get to a, tier, a tier three dog or a level three dog. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and turn and send it. It's an eight eight. So we'll get two, or we'll get one eight eight chick, which isn't awful. It can be helpful. We might pill the turtle actually. Ooh, bat difference, but it doesn't hit our dog. That's okay. Our melon armor dog takes out their puppy. No big deal. This is another win. Okay. That puts us at five wins. Five wins. So let's go ahead and uh, let's roll once here. Okay, we can buy a can. Do I want to try and level up the turtle? Potentially, yeah, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. We can sell you. I should have done that. That's ordering. That's my bad. Let's go ahead and buy. Buff the dog. Sell. And we'll buy this dog for this turn. Not going to make a big difference in combining it only, is only going to give that dog plus one, plus one. So keeping it as a four, four for now is probably stronger. We'll see if our eight, eight rooster does anything. And if we see more roosters, that is our game plan is to buy roosters. Uh, that, oh, the bus isn't going to be as effective against our melon armor as I thought it might be. That's okay. We're going to clear out. I think this might be a win. Yep, I'm okay classifying that as a win. You'll love to see it. Victory. That puts us at six. Okay, not bad. Tier five animals. Holy amoebas. <laughs> well then. It might be worth it just to kill the turtle now. Hmm. Okay, let's freeze first. Let's start here with the combination of the dog. Roll once. We did not get a turtle. So let's go ahead and pill the turtle. Okay. We can buy the eagle. The buffalo is actually pretty good. Buffalo dog is strong. So let's buy the buffalo for now. We'll freeze the mel or the garlic to put on the buffalo. Buffalo triggers on friend bot. So. Do we believe in the current setup? We'll roll. We'll keep freeze the owl. Freeze the owl. 
Not the peacock. The owl. Thank you. And we'll roll again. Oh, poodle. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna get rid of these two in the back. We're gonna keep a flex spot open. We're gonna run the poodle and we're going to buff these guys. I don't know in what order the poodle buffs. I don't know if it's left to right or right to left. I don't remember off the top of my head, but let's go ahead and send it here. We have some lives to play with. So we got two weaker tiers up front. That's okay. Melon armor and oh, dog in the back is probably fairly strong. The dragon doesn't make a difference. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, the melon armor puppy. Though we win. Okay. Well, uh, unexpected here. So we're at seven wins. I can live with seven wins. So let's go ahead and... Let's start by selling the hatching chick for now. And let's go ahead and... Oh, I didn't freeze the poodle. That is my mistake there. And, and we will sell. That's good. We will buy. And we will sell. I am going to buy this. I put this on four so we can roll once. Put our best unit up there. Let's go ahead and freeze this. And actually running the sheep in front of the dog because it will get summon triggers. It's probably good. And running the rooster in front of the dog is actually pretty good as well. Okay, I'm satisfied-ish with this current setup. It's a 3025 dog with melon armor in the back. Not sure I like running my most, uh, my most strongest, no, my strongest unit in the back, but we'll see how it goes here. So the Eagle should trade. Well, that's a strong team. Oh, the Mammoth is nice, though. The Eagle does not trade, but that's fine. We trade with the Rooster and the Chick. The Ram triggers are going to buff the dog. Nice. Uh, I'm not sure we get through their Ram and dog mix. This is probably a loss for us. And that's okay. It can be. Yep, that's a level three dog, though, and a butterfly. Oof. I mean, I think we got two more losses left, so that's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and sell you. We'll buy you. And we'll sell you. Let's roll once. Another chocolate bar. Ooh, a poodle. Okay, no, this is what we want. We want dragon and the rooster's going bye-bye. So dragon. We'll freeze this chocolate. We'll sell the rooster. We'll buy the beetle. Yeah, everything gets buff. We will roll. And I don't see another level one, but that's okay. For now. Well, let's go ahead and sell you and we'll buy the swan for excess gold on the next turn. Nice. Nice. Okay, having the dog in the back doesn't matter now. So we'll probably roll it like that. I'm worried about scorpion? Potentially. But we'll run it like that for now. We'll keep the two chocolate frozen. I mean, we might freeze you? No, because you're not a tier one. So we're going to be looking for tier one animals. And we're going to try and make a dragon dog buffalo build work. That's a little weird, but it is a buy me, sell me meta. This is an interesting setup that they have, and that's okay. We're going to crush through the chick as well and the beetle and just have their puppy and we're going to do okay here. That is a win. Could not connect. You give me my win game. That puts us at eight. You love to see it. Eight is a great place to be. So let's actually go ahead and sell the swan. And we're going to buy the pig. And everything gets buff. Love to see it. And we will sell the pig. Let's roll. Oh man. I mean, so I mean we'll buy the owl. It's not a tier one, but it does have a nice sell effect. And it is buffing our two biggest critters. It did buff the dragon too, which is nice. Roll again. A tier one. We got a mosquito. Nice. You'd love to see that. Beautiful. Beautiful. We will sell the mosquito. So what are we going to buy? 
Uh, let's go ahead and buy the shrimp, sell the shrimp, buy the bat, and we'll run the bat just for a weakness shot here. So buy the shrimp. Sell the shrimp. Buy the bat for weakness. I know I'm keeping this frozen for the longest time ever. That's okay. We actually probably don't need that on the puppy. Oh, the dragon. We'll do it on the dragon, I think. All right, end turn. Oh, end my turn, please, server. Looking for an opponent. I think we're set up okay, but it's hard to judge and guess. Ooh, the splash damage on everything feels awkward, man. It's gonna eat our melon armor, which stinks, but that's okay. The dragon does not trade with a goose. Interesting. Oh, wow, that could have been a very, very close draw. Just outplayed slightly here. So one life left. We need to pull out two more wins. I'm feeling slightly okay on where we are. Let's go ahead and sell the bat. I mean, do we buy? We only have one life, so I don't I don't think chocolate's where we want to be right now. We'll unfreeze that. We do want to be here. Buy. Sell. Roll. A uh, tier one is lovely. Buy. Everything gets buff. Yes. Sell. Roll. That puts us on five. Unfortunately, that's not where we want to be. I mean... Man, that's tough. We can roll another eagle in the back for hopefully eagle difference. I don't know if it will make a difference. Or we can run amoeba. That's going to override everything. All their utility, and if they're running a turtle in there anywhere, then that's rough. I mean, it does counter Scorpion. Let's do a buy, sell, buy here, just to buff the dog and the uh, buffalo. So let's go ahead and let's actually, we'll run a skunk. Because 33% less health on one of the enemies is the strongest enemy. It is the highest health enemy. It's actually pretty good. Oh man, that's tough. Let's move the dragon up. That way we can preserve our melon armor if they have splash damage. And just set it. Here we go, the bumbling sardines. A default background. But they are rocking hats. That's a 4550 puppy. That's tough. And a poodle. And ooh, the 50 got destroyed down to a 35, which you love to see. Our melon armor is gonna do great there. Love to see that. Oh no, we lost by one HP. Oh man. That was a strong team. A strong team. Okay. There it is. 55 points. You now have 910. You love to see it. All right, YouTube, that's where we're going to go ahead and end it here. If you want to see more Super Auto Pets, feel free to let me know. If you like the video, make sure you like it. If you dislike it, you could do that too. And if you have any suggestions on how I could play better or what builds to look out for or off-meta builds, because I like running off-meta builds, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. But as always, YouTube, be excellent to each other, be good to yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.